Buhari government moves against Surumbu as Nigerian Commission embassy finds TVC station over APC candidate hate speech. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. In a letter dated February 3rd and signed by Belarbi Ilela, NBC Director General, the Commission said it monitored the TVC's consistent breach of the Nigerian Broadcasting Code regarding the coverage of activities for the general election. The Muhammad Buhari led government through the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, has fined Continental Broadcasting Services Limited, owners of television Continental TVC, for airing hate speech and inflammatory comments by the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Bola Tunubu. In a letter dated February 3rd and signed by Balarabi Ilela, NBC Director General, the Commission said it monitored the CVC's consistent breach of an Andrew Bocaston code regarding the coverage of activities for the general election. The Commission said hate speech, inflammatory derogation and fair comments have been broadcasted by the station, adding that the trend had become a house town on TVC. The Commission cited references to a media briefing by Festo Skenyamo, the spokesperson of the All Progressive Congress Council, APC Presidential Campaign Council, as well as comments by Bola Tsunambu, the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate. On the 6th of January 2023, at 12.29 p.m., the Joint Media Directorate of the All Progressive Congress Presidential Campaign Council made the following comments while briefing the media. First is Kenya Moore, or Basanjo and Atiko run a criminal enterprise, an empire of fraud in Abuja, at the same time that Bola Ahmed Asiwaji was soiling hard, beautifully and meticulously to rebuild Lagos. Two criminals were stealing money in Abuja at the time. They both stole from the SPV account at the time. Speaking about the whistleblower, Mark Awakimago, he said, we suspect that some goons of Atiku Abubakar are planning to eliminate him and members of his family. In fact, my big brother, of Fanny, Femi Fanny Kaudi, actually hinted me about something like that yesterday, the letter reads. On the 24th of January 2023, at 3.39 p.m., during the All Progressive Presidential Rally in Abia State, the All Progressive Congress Presidential Candidate Bola Ahmed Trembo, after telling the public to vote for the All Progressive Congress under a symbol of broom, he went on to make the following comment. You know what you do with the rest of them? They are like lizards, cockroaches and mosquitoes. Take the broom and sweep them off. On the 31st of January 2023 at 2.37 p.m., during the All Progressive Congress APC rally which held in Anambra State, the party's presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Tenembo also made the following remarks. When we hear Atiku use the word Muslim, say Walai well, Talai, you know what is in his heart is Nalai I lie. Anytime you hear Atiku say Walai well, Talai, just reply him say Nalai you lie. The NBC also made reference to a comment by Tenembo during the All Progressive Congress rally in Anambra during which he referred to P2B the presidential candidate of Labour Party as a person who cannot keep promise. The commission also accused TVC of not giving equal coverage to all political parties. On the 10th of October 2022, your station started the news with 17 minutes of APC news and one minute of PDP story with a video clip that did not play, the commission added. The NBC therefore asked TVC to pay a fine of 2 million naira within two weeks of the receipts of the letter. Okay, oh, mm. <laughs> Eh, hey, I don't know what's in the sub, sha. If situation of Nigeria is like this and you're still supporting the same people who jeopardize Nigeria to continue, my dear, the country, the country's problem, not APC or its leaders. My brother, I don't tire to talk this matter. That is what they don't understand. You cannot, you cannot be voting for the same people who kept the country on its knees and you're saying the same people should come out and visit. It's not possible. Some people complaining today who are supposed to be apologizing to those insulted when voting this government. I they tell you, if the all progressive Congress members are part of those protesting in New York State, they should be picked up and wiped with fifty stroke of cane each. The thing is, when you when you look at when you look at what is going on and you are still insisting on voting for who you know deep down in your heart, you know deep down that ah, this person no oh, he cannot uh, you know he cannot be able to deliver. And you're still voting for the person because of waiting you could get because of what you get. <laughs> okay. That sanction was deserved. The senseless things he said were actually his speech. You know, the way the way this particular um administration, the way they come outside, 
to insult not even administration. I mean, this particular election, the way PC come outside and PDP come outside to talk, uh, like you can't be like say they just get they maybe then give them one freedom, so maybe then they talk anyhow. Because sometimes you the things they say now why ha part one drama tested the microphone details soon the center cannot hold any longer shackles have been broken even conspiracy collapsing freedom for all Nigerians imminent okay. Yoruba never still learned their lesson. I pray for divine intervention. If not, another June 12th is loading. Don't even say that. Oh. No, even go, no even go that route. Okay. The best thing Buhari will do to Nigerians is to make sure there is free and fair election. Let each and every individual vote count. Okay. My dear, the election is already being jeopardized. Why? Because already members of the public are not being given their PVCs. Whether I like it or not, the people who they are not giving their PVCs to. So. I don't know what the crime of these people are. I don't know why they did not give them the PVC, but they keep telling them that they cannot find their own. And it is very suspicious. Hmm? I smell fish. I pray for this man. Make these people not do what they did to lit MKO that led him to early grave. Oh. To remember, and never find just actors acting movies. Both APC and PD can't smell the seat of power. This time around, Asura belongs to the Labour Party, who are ready to unite Nigerians. Make sure to say your PVC day with you, shall. A party that fights each other can never stand. This is the beginning of the downfall of the All Progressive Congress, and that is a good omen. Don't rejoice too much, you. Now everybody go taste Buhari failure. You cannot run away from it. I support Sonobu to... Okay. I don't understand. So Tinobu owns a Rise TV News too. No, is this not this TV is not a rise news? They never saw this coming. Even me, I'm actually surprised. I'm surprised saying a TVC then give this sanction. I think same thing saying that Jagaban I get TVC. Hmm. Hey. Well, at the end of the day, Nigerians, we'll not wait for any radio station to come do our own. We will do it. Hmm? We do it and do it very well. No wait for any radio station to come. Do our own for us. Okay. Now, what I'm going to say is that at the end of the day, make we do waiting. Make we make sure see. Make we make sure see we do our own part well. Election day, get a PVC. Fashion up. Go your polling unit. See what's in the apple for there from your nice face. See what's in the apple for there. All right, well, at the end of the day, Nigerians, let us make sure we pick the right people who, are, who is going to lead Nigeria to a better place. Okay, on those notes, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>